The final book in the Ancient Ireland trilogy is a book called Avermail. And this is one of those words that I'm sure is going to triple a lot of people. And they're going to be trying to figure out where on earth did he get this word from. And Avermail is the eldest son of Queen Maeve. That's all you need to know from a storyline point of view. The meaning behind the word Avermail is it means like his father. And he was the eldest son of Queen Maeve. Now, he ascended to the throne after Queen Maeve was gone, and he played a part in the closing out of the ancient Ireland history that uh, we would describe nowadays as being the Ulster cycle of, of history. Aramale had to deal with a time when um, the Roman Empire was expanding throughout Europe. It had built a strong empire across much of Europe, right into Britain, uh, stopped where they had to build Hadrian's Wall because they found that they couldn't go any further. And they also found that the Irish were too savage to take control of their country. So he had this time frame playing out. And the only way the Romans would have known that the Irish were too savage to be tamed, as, as they put it, was that they had explored Ireland with a view to conquering it. And so some of what plays out in the book Avermail is uh, is part of this story. So I had to look, I had to look beyond Irish history into Roman history and find out who were the um, obviously the emperor, but who were the prefects uh, involved that that were leading troops into Britain and might attempt, uh, you know, crossing over into Ireland. And that's what I came up with was identifying that it was actually the Spanish Legion, Legion Hispania. I think is what it's called, that uh, actually made a sojourn into Ireland and made the initial effort to try to, to take the country. So Avermail is, is a person who lives under the shadow of his mother, who was so famous that you'd be forgiven for not knowing anything about him. But in reality, he had a very strong role to play, and, uh, and the people around him had very strong roles to play in keeping Ireland a true Celtic world. I hope you enjoy the read to that one.